Hey everyone, it's John here. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how we can highlight the minimum and maximum values in a bar chart or a column chart. So let's take a look. So essentially what we need to do in order to highlight the minimum and maximum values in our column chart is that we need to create a chart based on three different series. So one is just going to contain the values that we want to chart. In this case, it's going to be our revenue. And then we also need to create a series that only shows the minimum value from that revenue set of values and one that only shows the maximum. And then we're essentially going to layer these on top of each other so that the min and max shows as different colors. Now, before we create our chart, we need to summarize our data set here. And in order to do that, what I'm going to use is the group by function, but we could also use a pivot table and then create a pivot chart based on that pivot table. So here I'm going to use the group by function. And the field that we're going to summarize by is our order date. But first we actually just want the month of our order date. So I'm going to calculate the month based on our order date column here. And the values we want to summarize is our revenue. And in this case, we're going to take the sum of our revenue. And I'm actually just going to edit this and remove the total row at the bottom there. So here my data that I've entered doesn't have column headers in the references. So I'm just referencing the column values. And here, I'm just going to say that I don't want any totals. And there we go. That got rid of the total row for us. And so now we've got the month number and then the total revenue for that month. And here we've got different years in our order date. So we also want to filter based on a given year. And we've got a way to do that within the group by function. So the fourth optional argument here is the filter array. And here we're going to filter on the year from our date column. And we want that to be equal to whatever year we have selected here. And let's press enter. And there we go. Now when we change this value here, then our revenue values are going to update accordingly. So only show, for example, 2022 revenue here for each of our months. And now what we're going to do is create a series of values for our minimum value. And to do that, we're going to use an if function. And so here we're just going to test if our revenue is equal to the minimum value from our series of revenues. And if it is, we're going to return that value. And if it's not, we're just going to return an empty string. And when we press enter, you can see that only the minimum value is shown here in this series. And of course, this is going to update based on wherever our minimum value is. And I'm just going to copy and paste this over here and we can edit this. I'm going to move this reference back to our revenue. And here, instead of the minimum, we're just going to do the maximum. And now we've got our series of revenues and we've also got our minimum series and our maximum series. And again, here, this is going to be dynamic based on whichever year we've selected is going to show our minimum and our maximum values from our revenue. Now that we've got our data summarized and our other series set up for our min and max values, we can insert our chart. So let's select our values here and then go to the insert tab. And here we're going to create a column chart, just the basic column chart. And here you can see that we've got our maximum and our minimum values here side by side with all of our revenue values. But we want these to overlap. So if we 
right click and go to format data series. Then that's going to open up this menu here. And we've got this series overlap option here. So we're going to set this to 100%. And then they're going to overlap completely. And we're also just going to make these bars a little bit wider. So we've got this gap width option. And if we decrease this to something like 60%, then it's just going to make those wider. And here we're just going to finish our chart by removing some of the elements. So maybe let's remove our axis here. We can just select it and press delete. And we're also going to remove these grid lines. Let's select them and press delete. And then we can change the colors too. So I'm going to select my revenue series and go to the home tab here. And let's change this to a gray value. And then I'm going to select my maximum series and do the same thing. Let's get this as a light green. And my minimum series. Let's select that and we've got this rose color here. And then lastly on the chart, I'm going to right click and go to select data. And here under the axis options, I'm going to edit this. And right now we've got these month numbers. I'm just going to select these labels that I've got set up and press OK and OK. And then I'm going to select those and make them bold. And let's also make them black. And then lastly, we've got this chart title here. So I'm going to select it and up in the formula bar, I'm going to type equals and I've got this dynamic chart title set up already. So I'm going to select that as the source of my chart title and press OK. And there we go. We've got our chart that highlights the maximum value and the minimum value from our revenue series here. And of course, it can be selected based on the year and it's going to dynamically update accordingly based on whatever year is selected in this drop down list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.